This is Matthew with Advantage Technical Services with a video tip. In this lesson, we're going to show you how to create registration marks using FineCut and then set them up so that you can print on the clear and still be able to do print and cut with those registration marks by using white ink in your Mamaki JV3, JV33, or CJV. Our first step is to create our registration marks just like we would for any other print and cut job. We'll create our marks using our default settings. And then as our second step, we're going to create a white box, or a box rather, that we can just put right behind this and set it so that we can fill that with a color later. And we're going to put one behind each one of these registration marks. So we've got our four marks. We're just going to grab the four of those, select them all at once, and then we need to give them a fill. We want to use a fill color that we haven't used in our native file. I'm just going to use this generic red. Now what we want to make sure of is that our process color is a CMYK color as opposed to a spot color which wouldn't work for this process. Once we've created that, we just right click, go to our arrange menu and send to back. This will put it so that we have our boxes that we've used behind our registration marks so we can see both items. Now all the rest of the work is done in Rasterlink. So we're going to save this out as an EPS and we'll finish up in Rasterlink.